you are from this is that I am definitely going to hell now. <laughs> the, um, the sex drugs and all the drunken debauchery weren't enough. I think this is the final nail in the coffin. But given that I don't believe in hell, I'm feeling pretty good about it right now. <coughs> so, it's been quite a while for this society coming, I think. For too long has the theological landscape of Leeds University been dominated by a ridiculously well-funded ISOC, an outspoken JSOC, and a Christian Union that are, let's face it, everywhere. You can't turn the corner without some kind of promotion rent from them. <laughs> and they're all for the so who can be there? <laughs> but finally, the atheists have a voice at Leeds University, which is awesome. Hey! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why not? Um, if you haven't met me yet, I'm El Presidente Chris Walford, who will find out this society. I'd also like to introduce my amazing committee, Matt, who's my secretary. Hello. And uh, who's my president? Yeah. All in matching t-shirts and everything. <laughs> so, the question in everyone's mind is really, well, what do you guys do? Because, you know, you just have this novel you can go off that's not really something to form a society around. Well, you are wrong. <laughs> <laughs> What we do is basically we sit around feeling good about ourselves <laughs> and drinking. <laughs> but we're also going to be holding a talk. Um, <laughs> we're going to be bringing in guest speakers, hopefully, um, presentations, and holding debates with the other religious bodies on campus. And I know a lot of people are looking forward to how he can those yet. <laughs> we're also going to be promoting atheist thinking. I'm hoping to go down to Brigitte with the soapbox and the megaphone. <laughs> and three inch my heart is in Nicely done! So, who is the LUFA side of all? Well, it's for everyone. We have plenty of Christians already in our membership base. And not just because we gave them free membership, but because <laughs> <laughs> we want their point of view, we want everyone's point of view just kind of thrown into the mixing pot because that's the best way to do things. Um, we have agnostics in our society, obviously we've got plenty of atheists. Rationalists, secularists, it's all in the back of the teacher, so I'm not going to repeat what's already on there. That's my lovely volunteers and I've got I'd also like to add that membership to atheists is cheaper than the CU and ISOC. So if you're looking for a faith and cultural society to belong to, with a budget choice. <laughs> Obviously, you do get one less deity thrown in, but yeah, there's always going to be cut back. So, I'd like to thank everyone for coming down tonight, because otherwise, I'd just be sat here a while looking very sad. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that would be, that would be very bad. Um, so, it's great to see that people turn up, and there's plenty of time for you all to buy me a drink still. Yeah, thanks. I'm going to hand it over to Matt now to say a few words. Good evening, all. Well, have you a good time so far? Before I go any further, I'd just like to say a big thank you to uh, Paul and his friends from the uh, Human Society of West Yorkshire for coming along. Uh, it's been a, a, a great inspiration. We've got uh, good ideas off you guys already. We're uh, going to be uh, leeching from you quite a lot. Uh, a round of applause, please. Hey. And yes, on that note, uh, the, first, the first idea that we have posed from uh, the Human Society is uh, the celebration of uh, Darwin Day, which apparently is coming up on the 13th of February. So, uh, if anyone wants... Sorry? That's it, on the 12th. Oh, uh, yes. Natural Day is the 12th, but will we be coming Tuesday? Right, yeah, don't rely on me for anything like this is This is why. <laughs> Trust the secretary. Yeah. Don't be on the 12th of, uh, of, of uh, February, which makes more sense anyway. 13th is, you know. I'm lucky for some people who are superstitious, but we're rational, so we don't believe in that, do we, Chris? <laughs> no. So, uh, even if you're also 13th, that would be fine. But uh, we, we want to do something for Darwin Day. We want to have a store, we want to do something. If anyone's got any ideas of what we should do you know, around the around Union, <laughs> present Darwin Awards! Uh, yes, that's a good idea! Thank you, Mr. O'Shea. Get right on it. Kill, right, Sessions? <laughs> but yeah, that's basically it. 
uh, again, thank you all very much for coming. You're all beautiful, wonderful, and I shall now hand over to Claire. <laughs> Claire says hello. <laughs> thank you. Can I just say that if you go on the uh, Google or Yahoo and just put in Darwin's Day, Darwin's Day celebration, there are ideas on there and there's evidence of other people doing it. In America, Australia, UK. It's quite widespread. Give him the mic, Right, well, um, in about 10 15 minutes, Ben is going to kindly come up and perform a set for us. And also, I'd like to remind everyone that our first meeting is next Tuesday in the Green Action Zone, which is, well, it's upstairs from here, it's just next to the side doors of the Union. Uh, so, come down that, it starts at 6 pm, we're going to introduce society a bit more and hopefully get some discussion going. And, yeah, that's pretty much it. I, once again, I'd just like to thank everyone for coming down and drinking hot. Drink more, drink more, come on, let's get drunk. <laughs> <laughs>